Hey everybody, welcome back to more East Origin, where last time we defeated the big Colossal Vela Gunder and made our way through the flooded prison a little bit. We have a little bit of a water roadblock. In a sense, it's made of water, as you can tell, because I call it a water roadblock. And we defeated Opona, and we got the water dragon scales out of it. The water dragon scales allow us to actually breathe underwater a little bit longer. Not breathe underwater permanently, but just a little bit longer. But yeah, we need to make way through the rest of the flooded prison. Now we kind of have a way of doing that now that we can breathe a little bit longer underwater. But with a stronger weapon, we'll be able to kill some enemies a little bit better because Rico over here was able to temper our weapon. So we're just going to continue a little bit forward. Just kind of pop one of this. There we go. Flooded prison. And there we go. Now we can explore this place proper. But before that, make sure to toggle this on because... If you don't, and you start walking through the water, you'll realize that you are breathing, like, barely any time. So just make sure you have it active before you actually step into water. Because, again, you'll die really quickly the moment you run out of air. So let me just get rid of you. I'm doing a lot more damage than I did earlier, and I can just get rid of it almost immediately after it grows in size. Which is really nice compared to me having to slap it around before. But yes, we can kind of see the air not going down as fast when we're in the water. Combine that with our dash, and we're moving a decent, quick ways through water. It'd be nice if we could move a little bit faster, though, because we're still, like, slower in water. We're kind of waiting and just going through it really slowly. But with the dash, you kind of go a little bit faster through it, so there is that. And with more air, you know what we're going to be doing this episode, just going through nothing but water. So let's just make our way back to our destination. Where I'm going to start off by getting rid of you and you. There we go. Because SP and the bad satisfactory duration thing. I definitely want to get that. I'm pretty sure I have enough for it now. So I'll buy that when I have the moment to get that. But yeah, speaking of bad status effects again, I'm already poisoned. Joy! Fun times. And now for my favorite little grindy spot. Let me just... Get rid of a couple enemies right over here. Just gather them up in a big circle and just wham! Just straight through all of them. It's going to be a lot of big guys soon, but I do a lot more damage, so they go down much more quickly as well. There we go, and I'm already close to leveling up again. That being said, I might as well just, you know, abuse this little spot really quick and actually maybe get that level up. So... Just kind of get rid of you. Just pop, 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 pop. I'm going to go over here. I, I want to keep my bonuses while I still have them so I get two times experience and then just kind of wreck house over here because, again, plus leveling. I might not exactly get it per se, but at least I'll make use of this experience while I'm here in the area because once I go through that water room, I'm going to lose all these bonuses because it's just a really long path. So there we go. I think that'll be fine for now. I can just level up from enemies later on ahead so let's go through here and deal with this room finally as you can tell we definitely need the dash as well as as much air as possible to even make it through here this is a winding path and they pretty much designed this that you pretty much need both of them i mean you could probably get by without the dash because you have enough air definitely to make it through and a lot of people might not accidentally toggle the dash or might not have always dash when able active in this case i do so i make it no problem and we'll just go right through here and we get to see the fiery landscape below yet again. Looks very different than what we'll see in 700 years. But yes, little say point statue right over here. Might as well get that divine blessing finally. So let's see here. Reduce bad status duration. There we go. And now I won't have poison as long. Nice. And then our next options are reduce damage from terrain. Or maybe... Yeah, I think this one might be better. Status, like basically more herb health going on. Yeah, I, I kind of want that to uh, be nice. And there's also the bolster of the status effect resist, so I just resist getting the status effects, like, in general. So I just wouldn't have to deal with the poison at all if I just don't get it. But either way, I mean, I got one little bonus already from it, so it's not that big of a deal. I head right over here because I can't actually jump out of water yet, which is annoying. So if I fall in water, I need them to actually be in a spot where they're a little bit more easy to kill. So if I let them gather all around me around here, I'll just let them do that. So just jump, just jump. I'll just keep dodging you while I'll let all of them come to me. There we go. And then spinny, spin, spin. Get rid of them as much as possible right over here. That's one. And then I might as well see if I can hit you while you're over here. There we go. Have to be careful because that gate right there, they can actually pass through the gate, which 
can be a little bit of a hassle, so I'm just going to make sure they don't go near the gate. <laughs> and if they did, it's not like they're stuck back there. They can just go right back through the gate anyway. It's just that you have to wait for them to come to you. And yeah, if I'm not able to hit things from range, it kind of becomes a little bit of a hassle. But either way, we get the gate down. And we have a little bit of a demonstration here. See how my health is going down? Oh, my, not my health. My water health. My air. There we go. So if I do that, I find this little green thing. Or blue. It's kind of like water tint. Can't really tell. I think it's more blue. Where it just fills up your oxygen. So just keep that in mind. Ow. <laughs> I love that beginner strap. Every time. I'm always holding left and I just hit it immediately. Yeah, there's spikes that if you just kind of rummage right into it, you're going to take some damage. Yeah, those things just fill up your oxygen. You pick it up and you get full oxygen again. So just keep that in mind. You have a bunch of new enemies right over here. There are turtles. Yeah, we can't actually hit them with our axe, like, at all. So we kind of need to find a way to be able to hit them. So we'll just go in the only spot we can go. We have, saw a cracked wall as well as a wall that had, like, a big seal around it. So neither one of those things we could actually do anything with. So might as well just go around here. And we start seeing enemies we can kill again. So might as well just keep heading down in a direction with enemies that we can kill. Then we'll go right over here and make our way down. Just keep watching of the spikes. You don't want to hit them. As you can tell, we have this going on. Ow. So we might want to actually not get hit by a turtle enemies and get flung into spikes. But yeah, this takes a while to get through, and they could swim just fine through it. So we definitely want to avoid them. Because yeah, we can jump like this, but it still makes it so we're still going slow regardless. So yeah, there's kind of issues with both ways. We're going to go this way first because it's closer. Right over here. I'm going to keep that pot there just in case because I still have plenty of oxygen. I'm going to grab this. Rota fruit. Got another one, which means we might see another roo soon. Before that, I about have half oxygen. So do that. Grab this. A little bit overkill for that pot. But there we go. I have full oxygen again. We're going to check over here. We have a chest right there. So let's check that out. Just jump like crazy right over here. So we avoid those spikes and then head slowly down. And grab it. I missed it. There we go. Hard leggings. Hooray for finding boots underwater. That just means we're putting on soggy boots. That's fine. These soggy boots. Defense plus 12. A leather boots with resin grease. Designed to aid in swimming. Pop those on. And we move at noble speed underwater. There we go. We can actually move kind of freely through water now. So keep those on and we're pretty much golden. Ow. Aside from clotting your head in with spikes, you can't really do anything about that. That's just me being stupid. I head this way now. Go right down these stairs. And make our way slowly down. We'll keep that pot there just in case because we're definitely going to need oxygen soon again. So we're just going to go right over here and grab this shiny looking thing. Acquired Levin Strike Warhammer. A surge of power burst forth from the artifact. Unico is granted use of the bulk crash skill. So yes, while I have infinite water, air, during this description, I can explain it to you. Bulk crash. Unico's bulk crash generates a focused electrical blast of immense power. Generates a devastating column of lightning immediately upon Unico's path. So all I gotta do is just click A and just like slam with lightning. Unico's weapon becomes momentarily imbued with the power of lightning, destroying anything in her path, even weakened walls and other obstacles. Bulk crash skill is also impenetrable, meaning a well-timed blast can be used to block incoming enemy attacks. So you kind of have a little bit of a shield with lightning. The thing is, though, this does waste a lot of MP to use it. Like, you can't really spam this one as much as you can the wind one. So there is that. But if we get a Topaz, we can charge it up. So that's also nice. But yeah, now that I don't have infinite air again, I need to kind of make my way up and get that pot right over there so I can get my air back. Oh, well, there we go. And then I'm just going to hit L to switch over to 11 Strike Warhammer so I can do a little bit more damage with a little bit of a bonk action. I, I missed. There we go. That's better. Now, enemies that are like turtles and such, I will just do a lot more damage to. But thankfully, also, on your way back, you can just speed through this section because it's just designed in a way out. Designed in a way to where you can just speed through it, but you will fly with spikes if you're not careful like an idiot. Hello, turtle. Those enemies aren't underneath me now. It's fine. There's enemies over here that I could demonstrate it on better. So those enemies that I couldn't hit before, I can just use bonk and just do like a big chunk of damage. As you can tell, it is wasting a lot of MP to use it, but we do need to get rid of a whole section of them, like this red one right over here. Get rid of you. Get a level up while I'm at it. 
Hello, another red enemy. Get rid of you. And we just need to explore this area and get rid of all the red enemies. Just so we can open up the way forward. But also, right over here, we have a wall that we can open up just by doing this. The guy was dead. I don't know why I did that. And that gives us the arthropod medallion. Alright, sounds like we have an arthropod boss to be dealing with really soon. Right over here, a medallion found in a flooded prison area. The engraving depicts many-legged insect creature. Yeah, that's, um... Kind of a little bit of a doozy. Kind of a little bit of a doozy. I don't like arthropods that much. They're kind of gross. They're like weird bugs. But it's fine. I guess some people can like insects and things like that. Not me, though. There we go. Only time I really like them is when they're like cartoony looking. They like, whenever someone designs like an insect in cartoons, they always make them look really, really cartoony and cute. And compared to like normal bugs where they look like really gross, you're just like, ah, that, that's kind of funny looking. There we go. And that opens the way forward. I'm gonna grab that 50 SP because that's literally right there and I want it. I'm just gonna go straight up this way. Gotta be careful now because uh, we definitely need to keep watching our oxygen. There isn't any pots in this general area, it looks like. So, yeah, definitely need to keep watching my oxygen. So, let's keep heading forward, see more enemies. The enemies do drop them from time to time, so if you do get rid of them quick enough, you might be able to just get your oxygen back just from killing enemies. So, uh, let's get that. Got another one right there. I'm gonna wait a little bit, get rid of you. There we go. There we go. Oxygen max. So you're going to head straight up. There should be a chest right here. Yep. I missed. I jumped right over the chest. There we go. And that gives us a cell set and panacea. Which, yeah, it's only like three HP that we get from it. So it's not, again, like the biggest thing in the world, but it's still three HP. Gotta love invisible walls. There's a giant invisible wall right over here. Just because this is like right here. Uh, I'm about to run out of air. I'm going to I'm gonna go, gonna go, gonna go. Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you don't wanna run out of air like at the last second. There we go. And I also, yeah, I just realized I turned it off because I used a cell set in Venice. Hey, gotta keep that in mind. There we go. Hello there. I can definitely see you up there. I feel like I shouldn't be able to see you up there, but I can see you up there. Good to know. So we're just gonna find a way to get to you. First, I gotta wait for this to come back. He's like, could just run through the spikes, honestly. But uh, if I do this, I could avoid getting hurt by the spikes. And then, whoop, just do that. And then, whoop, there we go. I avoided colliding my head with spikes. It's always a good thing that, like, not have happen. There we go. Grab one of those and one of those. And we're That's unfortunate looking. Yeah, I feel like I shouldn't be able to see that. But it's like weird cagey area over there. That's weird. Either way, we have some new enemies right over here. Might as well just spam attacks on them. And notice that we get a decent chunk of SP from these ones in particular. So if you want SP, those are some good ones to go after. Just go in, go out, and get some of that SP back. And we're just going to spam the wind on them because they're actually weak to wind versus the Levin Strike Warhammer doing the thunder. Do a little bit more damage a little bit more quickly and get rid of them and get some more SP. So if I want my SP skills, I could just come over here, just keep fighting them over and over and over again and get a decent chunk enough until I can actually get a level up, but also more SP. But I think I'm fine on the level up for now. I can get more SP when I need it later. But that's the same version. If you want to go to this room in particular, this room has tons of enemies that just give you a lot of SP and a lot of experience. So again, if you see your experience bar is still going up at a decent rate, might as well get the level ups from over here and get the SP when you need it. So I'm just gonna get rid of all these enemies in here really quickly. That way I can get that sweet SP and that sweet experience. But yeah, we have two paths to go from. We saw the Rue a little bit above earlier. So I would imagine going to the right, we'd be able to see that Rue. And then going to the left is progress. So let me get rid of this one over here and then I'll make my way this way. So hello there. The Rue appears to be hungry. I do believe you're a Rue I haven't met before. But you seem just as hungry. What will you do? I'll give it a rota fruit. Receive Topaz. 
Yep, that just means our 11 strike Warhammer has been upgraded with Bolt Crash being stronger. Oh, for me? You really don't have to do that. I should humbly accept your gift, though. These are just so very cute, and I can't say no to that face. Yep, he is much better now, and I am much better now, because now I can charge this up and do a big blast. Not that it looked great on the stairs, but I have a lot of enemies to test this on, so I might as well just gather them up together, see if I can just maybe get, like, a big cluster of enemies to deal with. Come on. Hello. 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 Come after me. Hello. Thank you. Bonk. Yeah. That. Awesome. Again, they're not really weak to that one, so. In their case, it's not really that big of a deal. But everything else in this room, though. <laughs> yeah. I'll just swap over to the, this really quick and just bonk. There we go. And get rid of you as well. And do that. Now, right over this way. I have a couple more to go. And I'm almost leveled up, so I should be able to find just a teeny bit more enemies. But before that, right over here, we have another way outside, which leads to a door. And some more enemies to deal with. I'm gonna swap over to this since they look a little bit more tougher. Bonk. Yeah. Let's get them a little bit clustered. Do a little bit one of those. And I even blocked their damage. Because I timed it just right. Giant seal wall, which I'm pretty sure will go away once I take care of them. They're growing, so let's just do that. Guard their damage. Get a little bit of a power up. Bonk. And then, bonk, get rid of you. All right, so we should purify this statue right over here. And now that that's purified, we have the door that leads to what clearly is the next boss. But I also have like a teeny little bit more experience to go. So let me get that really quick. And with that level up pretty much taken care of, Let's head inside the arthropods chamber. Next time Azure plays more East Origin. I'll see you all then.